Well, in case you can't guess, I'm going to try and fix a bloody great hole in a boat. A uh, bit of a long story with this one. I bought this about a year or so ago, and it was a very good price, and I thought it was a very, very good deal. And what ended up happening was, when I bought it, it had a, a flaw in it that was not removable. So, once I'd gotten it home and I took it for a, a bit of a bit of a fish, she was copping a bit of water. And I thought, well, I'll pull the floor out of it and, you know, have a look what's going on. And it's basically just corroded to the shit. Um, it's got pinholes all the way through it. They've gone and put like rivets and stuff in there. I'll zoom in and see if you can see this. So they've gone and put rivets and stuff like that in there to, to block up these holes, all these pinholes that has been caused by the corrosion electrolysis. So, yeah, I actually don't think I'm going to be able to repair this because I believe it is just too thin. It's corroded so badly that just bits are just flaking out of it pretty much I'm gonna give it a go I'll give anything a go once or twice <laughs> so let's see how we do I'm gonna um, mark this around if I can get my friggin pen lid off get off your bastard come on oh fuck's sake so let's put this around here like this oops oh, no. I'll give me a bit of a bit of an idea where I've got to go to and from. That's the one. Okay, let's give this a bit of a go, shall we? I'll start um, removing all the paint and everything off it. Remove some of these stupid friggin' rivets they've put in there and I'll get out the TIG and I'll see if there's any chance this bastard will weld. Personally I, I don't think so. I, I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to do it because it's just literally it's just that thin. Um, if that doesn't work using the TIG then I have got those brazing aluminium brazing rods which I actually don't particularly like they they don't work very well for me that is why this is all like this because I tried brazing it from the inside out and what happened was just to get the brazing rods to melt um, the aluminium melted that's how that's how thin it was that the aluminium melted before the brazing rods did and uh, just burn all the shit off the paint and everything from the other side so we'll just um, we'll give it a go anyway, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Wish me luck.
Um, not real fantastic, but I'm actually surprised I got bloody any of it done, to be perfectly honest, because yeah, the, the metal in that boat is just shit. It's really, really, really bad. So I've still got a couple of small holes to take care of. I've got like this there. And there's a tiny little crack there. So we'll just finish sanding it down a little bit and then we'll probably we'll fill it up some more. And probably sand it down a bit more again. And uh, yeah. Just see how we go. Uh, starting to get low on a gas here. Just not that fantastic, but why aren't you focusing? Focus. Okay. Oh well. Well, there's always tomorrow. There's going to have to be. But, even if I put it in the water now, it'd certainly leak a lot, a lot slower than what it was. But, I'll just chuck up those, those cracks and stuff and fill it up a bit. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I need to strip all the paint off this thing. I'll get all the paint off it and I want to paint it again and I want to strip all the paint off the inside of it and I want to paint it all with blackjack. In fact, actually, that's what I'll paint this outside with. I'll, I'll paint it all with tar. So it's the go. Alrighty. Time to go and have dinner. It's getting late.